Hello everyone, this is a question paper trial from Free State. It was a 2023 paper that they wrote. It was paper one. So I'm going to do question 3.2. The question was on graphs. So I'm going to read. The graph was all about feeling of safety in percentage when working in the residential area during the day from 2019 to 2020. And then here they've given you the quotes that explain to you the black one is 2019, the scotch one is 2020, the other one dice dice is 2021, and the clear one is 2022. So when you get a question paper with graphs or any other information, take time and analyze what you are given before you start looking at the questions. So when you look at the graph, they've given us the percentage on the side, and then the bottom they're saying very safe, fairly safe, a bit safe, unsafe. And then on the top of each bar, they've written percentages. Okay, so now we are ready. We can look at the first question. The first question, they say, use the information above to answer the questions that fall. Then 3.2.1, name the type of graph drawn above. So this one is a bar graph, but you can see that it's not just one bar graph. You actually have four bar graphs. And the bar are upright. So most of the time learners will say will say it's a stacked bar graph. It's not. Stacked will be sleeping on top of each other. They'll be stacked up. These ones are not stacked bar graph. They are compact bar graph or you can say multiple bar graph. And because there are four, you can say quadruple bar graph. But you have to write the word bar graph. You get a mark for saying compound and the mark for bar graph. Let's write the answer for 3.2.1. Okay, the answer is compounded bar graph. You could have any of those. You could have multiple bar graph or quadruple bar graph. You'll get a mark for compounded and bar graph. Okay, our next question, 3.2.2. Determine the increase in the percentage of people who felt fairly safe between 2019 and 2022. So in, in our bar graphs, com compounded bar graphs, we're going to look for 2019, or firstly, we're going to look for fairly safe. They say people who felt fairly safe. For, so fairly safe is this one. And then we are looking for 2019. 2019 is the black one. And 2022. They say it's a percentage increase. So 2019, it was, when you look at the top of the bar graph there, they've written it for you. It's 33.1%. And then 2022 is the last column. It's 37.2%. Okay, let's write the answer. Right, increase in percentage. Um, most le learners, most lit learners, you don't write and explain to the examiner what you are writing. You just come with 37 minus 34. Even though your answers are, are correct. At the end of the year, somebody else is going to mark your script, not your teacher from your school. So write properly and explain to the person who's marking your script. So you get one mark here, 37.2, and then the 33.1%, and the percentage increase is 4.1%. That's where your three marks are. Let's look at the next question. Next question, 3.2.3. The number of people who felt unsafe when working in the residential area during the day in 2020 was 2.85 million. Determine the number of people to the nearest 100,000 in South Africa in 2020. Okay, so in this question, they are giving you the number of people that felt unsafe. And then they are actually asking for the population during that year. So, and then the graph that they are using here is fairly unsafe. Unsafe felt unsafe so the graph that we should be using is this one the unsafe one and then which year did they use 2020 so year 2020 is this one now when you look at that year they did not write the percentage for you so you need to figure out the percentage first before you can start calculating oh before that you you need to figure out that it should be less than 5.6 it should be less than 6.1 because you can see that the 2019 is 5.6 and the 2021 is 6.1. So you can't write a value that's higher than that because that year, 2020, is a little bit lower than that. 
so when you put your ruler here you can see that you are just below the halfway mark so in the memo they will have a range of answers for you so you can you can write 4.8 percent but your answer should not be more than five percent because it's lower than half the mark from 0 to 10 so it's lower than that so i'm gonna use 4.8 in this question they've actually given us the number of people after they've calculated the percentage so the number of people in south africa the ones that we don't have multiply by the percentage which is 4.8 percent i've written it in a fraction form is equals to they've given us this they've given us that it's 2.85 million so i've written i've taken the decimal out so it's 2 million 850,000 then you can work with this so because i'm looking for that i'm gonna say divide by 4.8 over 100 what i do on the left i do on the right divide by 4.8 over 100 so this will cancel that my answer will i'll be left with only number of people in south africa then i'll use my calculator to calculate that Please use a natural display if you have. If you don't have, write 2,850,000. Then write the divide sign in divide like that. Press that. And then press the fraction bracket and then write that fraction. Then you'll get the answer. Let me do that with my calculator. So the answer is 59,374,999. But the question said round it off to the nearest hundred thousand so when they say round it off to the nearest hundred thousand hundred thousand is this one so you're going to look at the digit before is it big or smaller than uh, five it's bigger than five it's going to change the to four so it's going to be fifty nine million four hundred thousand this is how they want this answer okay let's look at the next question okay the last question in this section is three point two point four the percentage range for the people who felt very safe is 7.7% and the lowest percentage is 44.1%. Calculate the highest percent of the people who felt very safe. In this question, they gave you the range and then they are asking you to calculate the higher value. I get a range is high minus low. So they've given you the low, they've given you the range, they want you to calculate the high. You need to write the formula first. Let's do that. This is the formula for the range. The range is equal to the highest value minus the lowest value. So in our question, they've given us the range. They say the range is 7.7% is equal to, we are asked to find the highest value. We don't have this value. That's what we are asked. And then minus the lowest value. The lowest value they said is 44,1%. So for us to get the highest value, you need to leave the highest value alone. But here you have terms. So you don't divide like in the previous question. In the previous question, it was factors. That's why we divided. When you have terms, we will take this to the other side and then the sign will change. This we have done in grade 8 and grade 9. So it's not a problem of its maths. No, you have done it in your schooling years. 4.1% is equals to highest value. So you, you're going to add the 7.7% .7 plus the 44.1%. So your answer is 51.8% is equals to the highest value. So when you're doing this question, please... Write the formula first and substitute in the correct place in the formula. It doesn't mean when you get a question that says range, they're automatically asking you to calculate range. Read properly. These are easy marks that you can easily get them. You actually, let me show you the marks. There's one mark for writing the formula. And then the next mark is for substituting. This question was worth four marks. And then the next mark is this line where you take it. And then the last mark is for the correct answer. So that's your four marks. You, you should be able to get the full four marks. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.